Welcome to this edition of Diligence Inside America's Boardrooms. I'm TK Kerstetter and I'll be your host for today's show. Today we're going to be talking about thoughtful proxy statements can result in educated shareholders. And joining me to talk about this is Ron Schneider, who's the Director of Corporate Governance Services for Donnelly Financial Solutions, otherwise known as DFIN. Ron, welcome. My pleasure, TK. It's nice to have you back. And uh, once again, it's sort of that time of the year to be talking about things that relate to the proxy. Uh, so my first question to you is, has there been any significant updates to disclosure requirements that people should be aware of? I would say not significantly from regulators, okay? Uh, the biggest recent uh, event now in its third year was a CEO to meeting employee pay ratio that had many companies concerned for years prior to its implementation, but seems to have gone off fairly quietly. And this coming year will be the third year for most companies. They are, most companies can maintain that same meeting employee calculation, so it won't be very difficult for most companies. So um, the big driver of the ongoing evolution really is long-term investor input, feedback, engagement you know, with companies and uh, telling companies what they're interested in. Uh, you know, certainly board diversity, they want to know about long-term business strategy, performance against the strategy, and increasingly uh, environmental, social governance, risks and opportunities, human capital management issues. Uh, so that's been the biggest kind of growth or evolutionary in proxies over the last couple of years, ESG, HCM, and affiliated topics being discussed at company websites and in standalone CSR reports, but also bringing some of those highlights into the proxy to help make that a standalone one-stop shop for investors that want to get a big picture and, as you say, educated investors to help them to vote thoughtfully. DFIN and your organization always spend a lot of time to do research in this area and, and uh, make sure that people's proxies are effective. So what are three things that all boards could do to make sure that they are on the high side of having an effective proxy? Certainly, and we, directors are paying attention to the proxies and uh, you know, are they effectively representing themselves, the board, the company at the boards they serve on? Uh, many directors are involved to some extent in some investor engagement, so they're hearing firsthand uh, what investors are looking for, which is beyond Rule 14a requirements, but information about business strategy, performance against the strategy, board diversity, how the board skills meet the company's strategic needs, how the pay program supports the business strategy, and increasingly, talking about their ESG related risks and opportunities and relevant human capital management uh, issues. Um, for uh, uh, all boards, I would say empower your management teams to um, you know, look at the peer company proxies as most do, make sure that uh, they're telling the most effective story because uh, a lot of what's in the proxy is from or about the board. It's not just a management document. And, um, uh, you know, generally uh, encouraging and empowering, you know, the company and, you know, keeping your eyes open for, you know, how things are done at the other companies they're serving on and where there are opportunities to cross-pollinate, which is really what the guide's about as yeah. well. So that's the great segue because we want to talk about the guide, the guide to effective proxies. <laughs> I, I could tell this is the seventh edition and I think I've, I remember the first one and this is a very heavy document now. So the good news is that this is very comprehensive and tell us a little bit about how you guys get the information to include in the guide and what it's going to provide somebody who wants to use this as a resource uh, and then later we'll tell people where they can get a copy. Certainly. Well TK we know for many many years you know companies look at other company proxies for ideas, what are their peer companies talking about, how are they telling their board and their compensation stories and the likes. And uh, we're privileged to work with half of the Fortune 1000 and over a third of all U.S. companies on their proxies in some form or another. So we see an awful lot. Many of our clients are very creative. So back over six years ago, we thought we would make that job a little easier for companies instead of just having to go to sec.gov and paging through front to back to look for what they were looking for, we kind of parsed the proxy into 25 to 30 sections or topics or features. And the first guide was smaller, it was 25 pages. 
uh, 35, and the immediate reaction was this is extremely helpful. Uh, it had some, you know, document covers, tables of contents, board nominee bios, a couple of skills matrices, a couple of uh, summary compensation tables. The immediate reaction was do a deeper dive, please. Show us more proxy summaries, more visual representations, more CDNA summaries, pay for performance alignment, other critical uh, you know, CDNA compensation related topics, so we did. So that first year there were two versions. And uh, adding to the length, um, the last couple of years we've added another section. Two years ago, companies, more companies were talking about business strategy in the proxy, very helpful for that large long-term indexed investor not necessarily tuned into the company's IR disclosures on a regular basis, but they do want to vote thoughtfully. They may know a household name company, but do you, I, or they know the latest strategies? Probably not. And so infusing some of that business strategy, talking about the board skills, meeting the strategic needs of the company, the, the composition of skills, talking about how pay is aligned with the business strategy, so you're paying for the right behaviors and performance and the likes. And this past year, uh, there's just, over the last two years, been an explosion in companies, not just reporting on ESG or CSR or human capital management generally, which is true, uh, but also importing some of those highlights into the proxy. So across the board, we've seen, uh, on average, perhaps a two or three page increase, you know, all other things equal, which is hard to judge, uh, in proxies due to the expanded ESG uh, CSR, HCM, Human Capital Management Disclosure. So the guide is uh, from our client base. We're privileged to work with many very creative clients. Uh, it now has 30 sections and uh, uh, a thousand examples called from over 200 companies. There are many other worthy companies out there, but you know, we try to only have you know, 20 or so examples per section or topic. And Clients tell us it's a great efficiency tool for them. It, it may not answer all their questions. They look at other proxies as well. Uh, they come up with their own ideas. We help them with those. But it's a real easy way, depending you know, what you're looking for, you know, whether it's board related, compensation related, sustainability related, there's examples right there to, to get you going. Yeah, well it's with great confidence that I can say over the years that anyone who works with the proxy, is evaluating their proxy, or wants to communicate with shareholders, this is a great tool to help them be more effective. So, Ron, I wanted to thank you. Oh, where can people get a copy? Okay, certainly. Uh, if you know your Donnelly representative or DFIN representative, contact them. It is available uh, by link, also hard copy. Uh, you can get it at www.proxydocs, that's proxy, D-O-C-S, dot com slash x dfin x x d f i n x so proxydocs.com slash x dfin x or contact your Donnelly representative and we'll be happy to send you soft copy hard copy whatever you'd like and we'll make sure we put that uh, website address up on uh, the screen as well so Ron thank you for taking the time to join us again at this time of the year it's always good to get a head start on the proxy my pleasure TK and that will conclude this edition of Inside America's Boardrooms. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again next week when we take another look at a critical topic that'll help you be a better board member or committee member. So we'll see you then.